Hello and welcome. Jilly Cube here. I'm in Queensland on the Sunshine Coast in Australia. Okie doke. I've got this nice large canvas. It is a gallery wrapped canvas and it is uh, 45.7 by 91.4 centimetres. So it's triple acrylic gessoed, gesso primed swedish pine frame um 380 msg so it's a really nice canvas that is going in oh i can save that bit of cardboard um i'm doing this for my uh, one of my guest rooms i bought this bed cover a bit bright and out there but i bought it for my bedroom that's all white so It'll go nice in there being a bit out there, but I was trying to um, mix the colours so they look similar to the colours in there to do this particular pour. So I want to do the style, I call it my washing machine style, because it's every which way, like a, a, a mad woman, um, which I am. So I'm going to try and do that and I'm going to try and recreate some of these colours in this piece. So when it's up on the wall, it doesn't look the same, but it's got the similar tones in it. So, it, you know, hopefully it will complement. So that's the cover that I'm trying to um, get the colours of. I actually love it. So I have put my masking tape on the back of my canvas so to keep my bottom clean. So it keeps the back of the the bottom of the canvas or the back of the canvas clean um, from the paint. So when you've finished it and it's all dry, you just take it off and you've got nice clean back. I've put my giant push pins in, which um, there's the link. I'll put the link in the first comments that you can get these giant push pins here in Australia, and I've got the Amazon link too for people in the US, so they can get you can get all the things I'm using today either from my link in Australia, Capriole Creative, or the link in the US is my Amazon link. Okie doke. So, um, and another thing is those links, if you use those links to purchase anything, they don't cost you any more money to purchase through those links, but it does always help, help the artist a little bit because you get a little bit of commission from those companies that you uh, buy from. So that's a you know good thing for the artist. So if you want to help the artist a bit, look for the links that you can buy your products through and they will get a little bit of um, commission from those links. So every little bit helps when you've um, got a channel and you're pouring every day, which I do. So this, yes, yeah, so a nice big canvas, gallery wrapped sides. Move everything out of the way, and um, I've mixed up my paints. So I'll show you them as I go along because they, I don't want to bring them over the top of the canvas at the minute. Um, a few of them are custom colours, so I will explain how I've made my custom colours and I hope you have a go if you're a painter or acrylic just have a go at making some custom colours it's so much fun and colours that you really want metallic if you add um, silver or uh, my, <laughs> my absolute favourite at the moment is the pearl mist look I've got so much gunk on it now the pearl mist if you add that to basically any colour, it makes it really nice, nice and pearlescent. So, uh, to begin with, I didn't want a complete white background. So I've mixed up palest peach and I put, so I put 50% of the peach and 50% white. So it's not quite white and it's not quite peach. So it's just a paler version because I didn't want a dead white background. This is a little bit thick to what I want it. So what I intend doing is just pouring a bit on and I'm going to um, pour a bit on and then I will add some water to this to thin it down to how I want it. But I'll just 
do this bit first in that I'm going to use my sponge brush to give the canvas a good coat. So you can see it's definitely not white. It's that very palest peachy pink, which is what I want because that particular um, cover has got that pink in it. I have tried to mix a pink similar, but I think I'm a, I'm a bit pinky pink. I'm a bit too pink in my mix, which I will show you in a second. I'm going to just add some water, just, uh, I'm just adding water to thin this down. I could add flow troll, but I think I'm going to just keep to the water. I don't want it to go too cell crazy. If I add flow troll, I'll get lots and lots of cells in it. And I don't want too many cells. I want some for laciness, but I don't want too many. If you get what I mean. So, gotta be careful that this doesn't turn to mud because I'm using brown and copper in it uh, with the pinks and peach. So there's a chance it could turn to mud. So I'd, obviously I don't want that. But I have it thin enough that I can blow it around the canvas. So just add, when you're adding the water, just add it bit by bit um, so she, it doesn't go lumpy on you. you. Just give it a real good stir. Stir in Stanley, that's probably pretty thin now. Probably still could do with being a little bit thinner, but we'll see how we go i'm gonna i'm going to have the composition so that most of the color is at the bottom and then some wisps all the way up here my sort of crazy blowy method um that i've been doing of late so kind of when you blow it out like dutch pour it, it uh, the way i've been doing it comes real like feathers which is really nice I like it so do what gives you joy do what gives you joy okay that seems okay I'll put that aside and I always keep it well aside because I end up knocking it over that hence why I've got a um a cup holder okie doke three custom colors that I've made up are I've done this before, it's, it's ended up like a, I call it my champagne gold. I mix 50% gold, 50% silver, and it comes this beautiful champagne color. And then I, when I've mixed that 50% gold, 50% silver, then this one I have added some metallic copper to. So it becomes this lovely mink color, like a pinky mink. So that's why I thought that would look nice with the pink that I'm gonna put in this canvas. So I've mixed up my minky colors that you see in there with the white. I've mixed up burnt umber and I've mixed up uh, metallic copper, the minkies and a pink. I've got a brighter pink than that. So I might end up lightening the pink because um, the one I've mixed up is a little bit brighter than the one in in that picture but those are the colors then my metallic copper I did add a chunk of um, burnt umber in there to get you know it's sort of the ready brown so that's that one and I've got some burnt umber so I've just got to be mindful 
Oh, look at that. A bug already. Bug off. Bug off. Hopefully I'll blow that out. Probably. Rightio, let's get this show on the road. So I am going to just put some of my same colour that I've put on the um, base, the pink, a uh, peachy white colour. And I definitely think it needs more water. It's just that I want to be able to blow it around with the hairdryer. So you just need it fairly fluid, much more fluid than I would normally use. Hello, my little puppy. What are you up to? Come to say hello to everyone. Cheeky Rosie. Yeah, I've said her name so she thinks food, food. Okie doke, right. So this is the colour that I mixed up for the pink in there and I think that's too pink. So then I mixed some of that pink with white and I think this one is going to be okay because it'll be blending in with the lighter colour. So I might just add a bit of this brighter pink just to see where we go with this. So I'm thinking, thinking, thinking that I'm going to do some streams up there with this thinner paint. This is the way that it's gonna, composition's gonna go with this. So I've just given it some more paint to flow up with when I use the hairdryer to blow it. So that's there. Um, I'm going to only put a little bit, so it'll be on top of that white colour, or the pink, pink pinky, peachy colour, just so it'll mix and, and dull it down a bit. And I will put a little bit in the bottom. Well, I know lots of people don't like using pink unless it's for a you know, young girl, but um, that particular quilt cover has got pink in it, pale pink, so I'm going with the flow, Joe. Rightio, I'm gonna put some of the, um, this is burnt umber with a little blob of black and a good blob of, um, silver metallic silver to give it the shine in it i've got to be very careful with this so oh, i just hope this doesn't turn to mud but you know if it doesn't i will scrape the canvas i will take it outside and i will um wash the canvas off because obviously it's a nice big gallery wrap canvas. I do not want to waste it, but I certainly will um, reuse it if I have to, you know, if it doesn't turn out how I want for my wall. So rightio, um, I'm going to put some gold in there. Some just, this is just gold on its own, metallic gold. So This is a bit of a crazy one, isn't it? But, you know, you've just got to give it a go and enjoy it, but absolutely do not sweat the small stuff if it doesn't turn out how you want it to go. Just don't sweat the small stuff. It's only paint. It's not, um, you know, you're not uh, saving the world or your life or just paint. I'll put a bit of that in there. Oh, probably put too much. Rightio, I'll need to use some of these gorgeous colours I've got here. So my, <coughs> excuse me, champagne gold. I'm getting quite excited about how this will look, actually. That's the champagne gold. Then this is the... Um, the one with the, the well, it's a minky colour. It looks very pinky, pinky minky, so it should go lovely. Oh, I'm pretty excited about it. Oh, those colours are actually beautiful. Should I put a bit up here? Mm, 
Minky, minky, moo. Minky, pinky. And let the boring gods be with me today. Otherwise. Um, did I already use that? I didn't, did I? This is my copper with the umber in now. I probably got way too much going on as usual, but I, I'll blow it off if that's the case. I love these colours together. They're absolutely good. Well, they are as they, they're looking here, so I'm just hoping they don't go into one big um, blob. I better put a little bit up there in the brown, maybe. Keep it in the brown area. <laughs> it's going to be a wowsers trousers moment. I'm feeling it. Radio. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Let's see. Put some more of the base colour. So hopefully there's plenty for it to blow around onto. I was thinking though, I probably need two of this size on the wall where I want to put it. So I might have to try to recreate these colours again if I do a second one. But that's okay, it shouldn't be too difficult. Rightio. Um, oh, this will be interesting, hey? Waiting with bated breath. Okie doke, I'll go over with my heat gun. Burst any bubbles. Rightio, I don't know whether to use my big dryer on this, maybe I should, or I'll start off with my little one because I can seem to control this a little bit better, but it might not um, be good enough uh, on this particular canvas because it's a big canvas, so we'll see how I go. I'll just try it at first. I might just blow these up there first. Maybe, maybe. Let's see how we go. Ah, oh, I don't like this too much. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. What am I doing? Needs more. Needs more paint to... Ooh! Oh, flipping floppers. <laughs> it slipped out my hand. Oh, well. Calm yourself down, Miss Jilly. Just go with the flow. See if I can get anything out of this. I don't like that for a start. No. I can smell my hair dry getting hot. I might have to turn it off and give it a break. <laughs>
He's too much paint. I actually love this bottom bit. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. I know this probably doesn't need blowing out, but if I don't, the paint's going to sit too thick there. I suppose I could blow it down the other way. Get run it off a bit. I've used way too much paint, so learn by my mistakes. But that is gorgeous. Look at that. Real minky and pinky. Holy dooly. Actually, what I intended doing was having some negative space, but it is absolutely gorgeous oh i got told off the other day by somebody saying i've never heard anybody praise their own work so much well you know <laughs> if i think it's gorgeous i'm supposed to um not say anything so because <laughs> i must seem to um oh i don't know what's the word oh i'm just bringing my sides in but yeah, so I got, I got got a bit of a telling off for um, not, you know, hearing hearing me say that my own work was gorgeous. If if I think it, that something I'm creating at the time is I'm happy with it, I think I'm allowed to say that it's gorgeous because even though somebody else doesn't think that, you know, if you're happy with your work, that's I've always said that all along. It's up to the artist, isn't it? It's up to you. I just love it. Oh, I just pray that that, I think, I think I pray that it dries without cracking because it's quite a bit of thick paint there. But what I think I'm gonna have to do with the sides is when it's dry, I will paint the sides separately, a solid color, maybe the copper. Oh. But the colors are actually absolutely beautiful. I love them together. But my mistake on this one, I put them on too, too much paint. I always make that mistake. So I'm really hoping that the canvas absorbs a lot of that paint, you know, dries into it without cracking. But I actually think that I just love it. I do. And um, I think that that is going to look so nice up on the wall i do need a second one now because i need two i reckon to stand because i'm going to put them with this i'm going to put them horizontal uh, horizons no horizons that way vertical i'm going to put them vertical uh -oh. <coughs> so this is the bottom <coughs> standing up i have to bring you down because the colors are really lovely they haven't gone muddy because it's the mink and the champagne gold and it's all in there. All the colours are in there and I think that's pretty good. And I am saying that about my own work. Yes. So Mr. Negative or Mrs. Negative that, that told me I praise in my own work. I am happy with it. <laughs> I know lots of people say you shouldn't get um, upset over what, and I'm not upset. I just think, why why do people have to even say things like that? Just spiteful, isn't it? Spiteful, sad people. Just to try and, yeah, dull your shine. They want to, yeah, throw a negative light so you don't, you know, you don't get, you don't feel too happy for long. We're trying to, Dull the shine. That's a little bit that's not covered there. So I will finger pop it. 
but yeah definitely around the edges if this all dries nicely i am super duper happy with that now i have to run out and buy another canvas this size because i'd like two running vertically together with that on the back wall of um, where i'm going to put that in the bedroom i hope you like this painting because i am super duper happy with it so when you see it i don't want to turn it around to face you guys now but i might i'll bring the camera down that's what i will do so here we are so it's going to be vertical so this is going to be the bottom go running up like so so i've got all the colors pretty happy it's not overly celled but it is like in a washing machine style that i went every which way in it so going up after you've done that top bit blowout you do the top bit blowout first and then when you do the bottom bit it actually makes it look quite 3d that it's sitting on top of that so you can see the champagne in there and you can see my minky color and i'm quite happy with how the pink and the mink pinky minky pinky minky moo i will um, put some photos on of the dried product at the end hopefully standing up the right way and just I'm praying, I'm praying to the drying gods that it is all um, dries nicely. Thank you so much for joining me, lovely people. Um, until tomorrow, I will be back. But if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps me um, and costs you guys absolutely nothing because I do. you don't have to pay for me. So okie doke, until tomorrow, take care. Bye for now.